Ever found it hard to study when you're not in the mood? This predicament is quite common. Picture this. You're in front of an open textbook or a blank screen, trying to grasp concepts, but it's like smashing into a brick wall. Your motivation is dwindling and it's not just an annoyance, it's a barrier to productivity. It blurs your focus, making processing information a challenge. Your learning pace drops and suddenly you're lagging behind. Motivation is key. It's the catalyst for the learning process. It's the spark of curiosity, the push that encourages us to delve deeper, venture farther, and grasp the subject we're studying. The lack of motivation can derail the knowledge acquisition process, but it's a rut that many students fall into. However, don't despair. You're not alone in this battle. It's a shared struggle, but there are proven strategies to this impediment. If you've ever found yourself in this rut, Remember, you're not alone. This is a struggle shared by many. But the good news is there are ways to overcome this hurdle. So, what exactly is motivation? Simply put, it's the fuel that propels us towards our goals. It's an intangible drive that pushes us to strive for our desires, major or minor. It's that magical force that can make us scale mountains or cross rivers, both metaphorically and literally. Let's talk about two primary forms of motivation, intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic motivation is a powerful force that originates from within the depths of our being. It's like a personal joy or satisfaction derived from performing a task. For instance, reading a great book for the sheer love of literature. Conversely, extrinsic motivation is propelled by external factors, rewards or penalties. It's when you push yourself to ace a test to attain a good score or evade a failing grade. Once you comprehend your motivational drive, you can learn to amplify it. For instance, if you're intrinsically motivated, you might find solace in the pure joy of learning new things. If you're driven by extrinsic motivation, setting up a reward can do wonders. The crux of enhancing your motivation lies in understanding its nature and channeling it effectively. Remember, understanding your motivation is the first step to boosting it. Now, how can we create an environment that fosters motivation? This is a question that we've all asked ourselves at some point or another. It's not just about the physical space, but also about the mental state we cultivate within it. Firstly, envision your study space as an oasis for your mind, a refuge built exclusively for the pursuit of knowledge. This place's sanctity is dependent on its cleanliness and organization. A cluttered environment can be distracting, inhibiting your ability to concentrate, Therefore, develop a routine to tidy your study area before beginning your work. Secondly, the age-old saying true. Silence indeed is golden. Minimizing noise is essential for maintaining focus. If your surroundings are beyond your control, consider using noise-canceling headphones. These devices can assist in creating a peaceful, quiet atmosphere conducive to studying. Thirdly, vanquish any distractions. This means stowing away your smartphone, closing all unrelated tabs on your laptop, and having an undivided focus on your material. The objective here is not to create a space that seduces you towards procrastination, but one that actively encourages you to engage with your studies. Reflect on your current study environment and identify areas for improvement, making these changes today. A conducive environment can significantly improve your motivation to study. Setting goals can be a powerful motivator, but how do we set realistic goals? This question often leaves us baffled. The key to setting pragmatic goals lies in understanding that they are the lifeblood of motivation, serving as a tangible roadmap to our dreams. Without clear attainable goals, the human spirit tends to lose its spark and initiative. Lofty ideals or hazy aspirations can often overwhelm us, causing disarray in our motivation. The enormity or vagueness of such goals can make success seem unattainable, leading to desolation and an eventual loss of purpose. We want to avoid this scenario, so what's the solution? The answer lies within the practice of breaking down extensive tasks into bite-sized portions into smaller, manageable tasks. It's like embarking on a journey. You wouldn't expect yourself to magically teleport from the start to the finish, would you? No, you would progress one step at a time, gradually bridging the gap between you and your destination. Next, 
To lend more structure and clarity to this process, assign a timeline for each task. This not only provides a well-defined path towards your goal, but also keeps the monster of procrastination at bay. Remember, a goal without a timeline akin to a ship lost at sea without a compass. Lastly, be sure to leave some room for flexibility in your goals. Life, with its unpredictable twists and turns, might necessitate adjustments in your plans. And that's okay. The ultimate aim is steady progress, not unattainable perfection. Setting realistic goals can give a sense of direction and purpose, thereby boosting motivation. Rewards can be a great motivation booster. Let's explore this intriguing idea of self-rewarding. It's a straightforward but potent mechanism. Think of it akin to applauding yourself for a task executed with excellence, but in a more concrete form. Visualize completing a challenging chapter and yourself with a quick hiatus to stretch. You're not only clearing your mind, but awarding yourself with moments of tranquility. Or envision relishing your treasured snack after wrapping up an assignment. It's not merely satiating your appetite, but fulfilling your sense of achievement. At times, the reward may be as elementary as viewing your preferred series after an extensive study session. It's not dilly-dallying, but a well-earned respite. Self-rewards offer a splendid way of affirming oneself, bravo. You've merited this. It's a creative to create a sense of anticipation, making the act of studying less intimidating. Rewards can give you something to look forward to, making the task of studying less daunting. Attitude is everything. But how do we maintain a positive attitude? The secret's simpler than you may believe. It begins with your mentality. Rather than viewing as a burden, perceive it as a journey to acquire knowledge and evolve. The attitude you adopt towards studying molds your entire experience. A cheerful perspective can render the process more delightful. Let's explore certain strategies for sustaining this positive attitude. Initially, cultivate mindfulness. Be absorbed in the present and concentrate on the task at hand. This can assist you in avoiding distractions and enhance your focus. Following that, emphasize progress, rather perfection. Remember, the ultimate goal is learning not merely securing correct answers. Take a moment to celebrate small triumphs and forward strides. This celebration can elevate your confidence and stimulate your motivation to persist. Finally, immerse yourself in positivity. You can achieve this through positive affirmations, inspiring quotes, or even lively music that uplifts your spirits. A positive attitude can make the task of studying more enjoyable, thereby boosting motivation. So how do we boost motivation to study? This question has been on many minds, and today we've attempted to unravel the answer. Our discussion began with grasping the idea of motivation. It's not abstract, but an element that we have the power to impact and shape. The next key point we explored was role of environment. A well-suited setting can drastically transform your study patterns. Our dialogue then transitioned to the significance of establishing attainable targets. It's about progressing in bite-sized steps towards your ultimate goals. Following this, we emphasize the necessity to reward oneself. This simple act can enhance your motivation. Concluding our points, we highlighted the importance of sustaining a positive mindset. It's essential to shun pessimism and concentrate on your progress. Through our discussion, we unraveled that boosting your motivation to study might be challenging. But with these key points, it's certainly not impossible. Always remember, your motivation is not something that's out of your control. You have the ability to nurture and grow it. Your motivation thus is in your hands. Thank you for tuning into this video and showing your support for self-education and lifelong learning. If you found this content valuable, please take a moment to show your appreciation by giving the video a like. And if you haven't already, we invite you to subscribe to our channel for more informative content in the future.